Good morning, or evening, or afternoon, friends, and welcome to the final installment of Camp Compassion. I am so excited. I'm excited that you've been here and that we've had this time together. I'm excited you've taken time to think about Jesus and learn about God, special time this summer. And I'm excited that, that we're finishing up, that we, I feel like we've done a good job. And so I, I'm just full of excitement. But that's right now. Sometimes I feel the opposite. Have you ever felt overwhelmed um, with a situation or a family member or even with a day? If you started a situation and you just felt like you'd made too many mistakes or were just overwhelmed by too difficult of a task and you just felt overwhelmed, have you ever felt like you just wanted to start over? When have you ever wanted a fresh start? Can you think of a situation when you wish you could start all over again? A fresh start can feel really, really good. You might imagine, for example, when you had to clean up your room. Maybe your parents made you or maybe you chose to, but if you ever had your room messy and then you clean it up and you walked in the room and everything was where it was supposed to be and it was all clean and your, all your floor space was there and all your stuff, you ever had that happen? That's an example of a fresh start, and it, and it feels really good. Wish we could always just get a fresh start, not just in our lives, but sometimes in the world. When there's injustice in the world, it can be overwhelming or unfair. Like imagine if there was a rule in your classroom that only applied to some of the kids. Maybe it applied to you, and it was something unfair. Like you had to do twice the work or sit at an uncomfortable desk or not get good lunch. Wouldn't that be frustrating? Sometimes we need a fresh start. Sometimes our society wants a fresh start, the world we live in. And anytime someone doesn't get treated fairly or have the things they need, it can be frustrating or saddening. And in all those cases, we might want a fresh start to just start things over. And any time we get a fresh start, our word for the week might come in, compassion. So today I'm going to teach a song about compassion. It goes like this. May we be filled with compassion. May we be filled up to the top of our hearts when we have the power to make something right. May we show God's love. That's the first verse. Second verse goes, may we be shown compassion. May we be found in the center of peace when we have needs others can meet. May we find God's love. Let's sing that together. May we be filled up to the top of our hearts when we have the power to make something right. May we show God's love. May we be found in the center of peace when we have needs others can meet. May we find God's love when we have needs others.
In today's story, we're going to hear a story about God's compassion that involves God giving someone a fresh start. But before we do that, let's put a hand on our head and a hand on our heart and pray together. Repeat after me. Joyful spirit, your loving hands are always creating freedom, release, and fresh starts. Help us do the same today by caring for all living things with gentleness and care. Open us to humbly receive the same care from others for ourselves. Make our hearts smile and our actions sing with your promise of abundance toward the whole world. Amen. Hello, Compassion Campers. I'm so glad to be with you again this week. I had so much fun making the story for you. I am really looking forward to you seeing it. But first, let's set it up a little bit so we know what's going on. The story comes from the Hebrew scriptures, which is the part of the Bible that we sometimes call the Old Testament. Do you remember when the people of Israel were freed from slavery in Egypt? After they were freed, they wandered and traveled for many, many years in the desert. When they finally arrived at the land that God had promised them, it was time to listen to God and to learn how to live, not as slaves, but as God's people. Today, we're gonna to hear about a wonderful and important tradition that God gave to his people. It's called Jubilee. I love that word. It sounds like a party, doesn't it? Jubilee. Jubilee is a way for people to start over. Starting over can sometimes be the most important thing. Often, when we're given a chance to have a fresh start, that's when we really realize in our hearts that God's grace is meant for everyone. As you listen to the story, think about how it feels when you get a fresh start. The people of Israel journeyed through the vast wilderness for many years. Finally, they arrived at Mount Sinai, where they rested. God gave instructions to their leader, Moses, for their life together in this new land. These were the things God said. In this land, we will practice Sabbath together. This will happen not only on the seventh day, but on the seventh year. For six years, we'll do our regular work and plant seeds. We'll grow, prune, and harvest fruits. But in the seventh year, we'll let the land rest. Even the land needs peace and quiet. Everyone will be able to harvest and eat whatever the land gives us in that seventh year. In the fiftieth year, we will celebrate Jubilee together. It will be a fresh start for the whole community. Everyone will go to their own homes and be together in joy. It is a holy time, and we will be fed and nourished by whatever the land gives us. In this time, we'll respond with justice by giving fresh starts. This means that we will be fair and honest to one another. We'll take care of those who are sick, alone, old, or need help. We'll welcome people who are from different countries, and they will be like family. We will work for people's freedom. We will all work together to help everyone rest and rejoice in God's abundance. I will bless the land during this year, so you do not have to work the land. I promise. All will be fed and nourished by the land's gifts. I wonder what you think of when you hear the word justice. Does justice make you think about courthouses and lawyers and judges? Or maybe it makes you think about someone being punished for committing a crime. Maybe justice makes you think about equal treatment. Everybody gets the same number of cookies. 
I think it's really interesting that God's ideas about justice are very different from ours. God's justice looks more like all the ways we've talked about compassion, seeing and welcoming and being brave and honest, loving ourselves well and being present with other people. It means God's abundance making things right, making things whole the way they ought to be. Do you know what abundance means? Abundance means there's enough, enough for everyone. It means everybody is invited to the table. It means we are safe, we are secure enough to be brave and trust each other, to give and receive care, and to join in God's work in loving all of creation. This is our last week of VBS for the year, and I just wanted to say thank you for spending time with us. It's been such a joy to make these VBS lessons for you, and I hope you've had as much fun as we have had, and I hope you have a great week. May we be filled up to the top of our hearts when we have the power to make something right. May we show God's love. May we be shown compassion. of peace when we have needs others can meet may we find God's love welcome back everybody over these past five sessions we've learned a lot about compassion and we've learned a lot from Bible and from Jesus. We've learned that compassion begins with seeing, feeling, and welcoming. We've talked about how sometimes it takes bravery to be compassion and how it's important to be caring and compassionate for ourselves. And finally, how compassion is a way that God gives all of us a fresh start. There's an idea in the Old Testament of Jubilee in which all is forgiven in order that people can start a fresh start. And Christians on Easter celebrate the eternal jubilee that God gives us. God is always turning to us each and every day with a fresh start. In fact, every day is kind of like a fresh start. So with that in mind, I want you to think about how fresh starts and how God compassion happen for us in the world. Maybe ponder together with your friends or your family why fresh starts are important. Why is it important to rest? Why do you think it's important to celebrate? How and what do we celebrate? And how does celebrating help us share God's compassion? God's compassion is God's justice. And working for God's justice, making things right, releases God's abundance into the world making sure everyone has what they need. When we rest and help people and the land to rest, we show God's justice. When we gather at the communion table or at the table together in joy, we show God's justice. And whenever we care for people in need, we show God's justice. Justice, making things right, is exactly what happens when we are compassionate. There's a lot of ways you can be compassionate. Seeing and welcoming, being brave and showing up, loving ourselves, being present to each other, and giving each other fresh starts. And when we do these things, we show God's love. Let's close with one hand on our heart and one hand on our brain. Because being compassionate takes both our heart 
and our heads. And as you go forth to the rest of your summer, may God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious to, unto you. May God look upon you with kindness, bring you peace, and may God's justice and God's compassion get loose in the world through you today and every day. Amen. Thank you for taking this time with us. Have a great summer.